Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode of Laser Dry Fire. I got something a little different here today. I just have a simple target. Simple target. As you see on the screen here, it's frozen. So it's not moving, won't do anything. But basically I got uh, five targets, one on the left, one on the right. I'm ignoring the ones on the side. Um, I'm just sending it that way because it's easier for the laser hit to pick up on the target if you're zoomed in really close. So, anyways, I'm going to sh just shoot 10 rounds, and this is not about speed. This is more about taking your time and being accurate and practicing your trigger control here. So, let's let's... Let's take a look at the uh, the firearm I'm using. Still waiting for the G3 to go down in price a little bit more. Getting closer and closer to Black Friday and the holidays. Uh, so I'm using my TH9C, a Taurus TH9C. And there we go. The laser G sight is in here. All right. And it is empty. I'm using the 13 round magazines. Slide stop. The follower always pushes above the slide stop. I'm not sure what it is on this particular gun. Anyways, doesn't matter. I'll probably never use this in a live fire. And uh, this is only for laser dry firing, hammer fired. So I could use, I could just keep pulling the trigger and it activates the laser. All right, that's my right side. Let's check the left side, which is another TH9C. And if I do get the G3, the new gun from Taurus, if I do get a, a G3, I'm probably gonna buy two, especially if it's a holiday, Christmas, Black Friday deal. Most likely it's gonna be the lowest price ever. I'm gonna buy two of those if it comes out. Maybe you won't, who knows. But this is another TH9C. Right, this follower works really well with the slide stop there. Another G sight in here. Relatively inexpensive compared to ammo. Um, two rounds of ammo. Not two rounds of ammo. Let's see. It's, I would say one box of ammo, 150 round box of ammo pays for this. And how many times have I pulled the trigger? Well, on this laser hit, Apparently, I've pulled the trigger, I don't know, uh, 25,000 times on the previous laser hit before it updated. I think I had like 20,000, so maybe 40,000 40, trigger pulls so far. I've gone through one trigger spring on this and then two trigger springs on this. So there you go. And here's my ambi. I don't try to slide it. I don't just, I don't, you know, let the slide just slam into the G sight because it vibrates the laser and it may loosen the, the lens on it. And then you'll have this big old red dot and it's not even accurate. So keep that in mind. Anyways, just for laser dry fire training. All right, so what am I going to do? Uh, there's no, this is not about time. This is not about, you know, shooting zombies, shooting zombies. Um, this is just trigger control, uh, marksmanship. Although I know I'm not that far away from the actual target. It's probably only about 10 feet, but the targets are small. And so they're simulating maybe, maybe 20 yards maybe a little bit further. I'm aiming for the black dots within the circles. And so that's kind of what I'm aiming for. So if you understand ratio, you can, you know, basically that target is about 20, 20 yards or maybe even further. So that's kind of what I'm using here. All right, let's get started. I only have set up for 10 rounds before it stops and then goes again. And if you see some graphics it's probably not in the laser hit app. Okay, this is graphics I've done in post-production, 
to make the video more interesting. So let's start, shall we? Ow. Okay, I have to manually start. This is a little pen with a little rubber piece in front for smartphones. There we go. Please go to the firing line to start your practice. Reset this thing. Yes, I know I moved. All right. Let's see if it works. Oh. Let's restart it. It's finicky. Laser hit is Please very finicky. Go to the firing line to start your practice. But I like it because of the reload. You shoot the reload area and then it resets it. All right, so it's, I'm not drawing from anything. I'm simply just going to shoot. There we go. Now it's started. Seconds. Okay, again, it's not about the time, but the time is there. It's about marksmanship, and sometimes the laser doesn't hit. Um, you have to hit the black areas. That's what I've noticed. So if you use a target, try to use a black and white target and shoot in the black areas. That's what I've noticed, or white areas. It doesn't matter, but sometimes the laser, laser hit is kind of finicky. But again, the reason I like it is because I could just... Shoot the reload area. There you go. And then you can do different patterns. And you can do different patterns. So I'm going to do zigzag left to right, left to right going down. Start from the top. Oh, missed on that one. Seconds. And you know, you could take a look at how well you've done. If you hit right in the middle, you're probably pretty on target. Now the the hole size or the bullet size I I picked out I set it to the max so it could be seen a little bit easier on um when I when I make a video. But you can you can change the, the hole size to be smaller so you could get really really accurate. But I think for making a video this this works out the best. All right, so that's tier nine. All right, so let's uh, use the left side, okay, with my left TH9. I already checked it. Let's check it again. Just do a little press check. Just press check it. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's 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 get it going. I'm going to use my left eye. I'll try to use my left eye. Start from the bottom here. me a little bit longer. Sometimes that sometimes it disappears on me. My sights disappear on me when I'm using my left eye. Let's see if I can continue from where I left off.
Hold on. Just gonna time out. 60.0 seconds. Now time out. Let's. And you Please reset. Go to it. the firing line to start your practice. Sometimes when you're using your non dominant eye, it disappears on you. You just, you know. So, anyways. It just disappeared on me. Shows I shot it twice over there. 45.1 seconds. That was weird. It showed one of them I shot twice, which I didn't, but wow. <clears throat> Left eye, non dominant, <laughs> non dominant hand, non dominant eye. Takes a lot longer, and uh, you definitely have to concentrate a lot more. Hell of a lot more. All right, so let's go back to the right. Let's do it the right way. Anyways. Uh, all right, so let's see, zigzag, bottom going up. Seconds. Okay. Much faster. Of course, you're using your dominant hand with your dominant eye. Anyways, TH9, very useful dry fire, laser fire practice gun. Would I ever reload a would I ever load a real ammo and carry this with me? Probably not, because I know the fact that I'm dry firing this a lot. It has a lot of wear and tear on the trigger spring and maybe some other components uh, with the pull uh, actuators and springs in here. Um, I probably wouldn't carry this as my carry gun. It's, it's a good backup gun in a pinch if I really need to, but mostly a great training and dry fryer gun, very inexpensive. Anyways, that concludes this episode. It was raining today. I didn't have a chance to ride my bike. I might go to Chick-fil-A, do a drive along, so watch out for that. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Give me a thumbs up. Try fire practice. Till next time. Bye.